But first, a federal court in Pennsylvania has declared parts of President Obama's executive action on immigration unconstitutional. Let's go straight to correspondent Shannon Bream for what happened and what it means. Shannon? Well, Brett, in the first ruling of its kind, a federal judge in Pennsylvania said today the president's executive actions regarding immigration exceeded his constitutional authority and cited the president's own speeches and remarks on that issue. Judge Arthur Schwab writes, quote, President Obama contended that although legislation is the most appropriate course of action to solve the immigration debate, his executive action was necessary because of Congress's failure to pass legislation acceptable to him in this regard, adding, quote, Congress's lawmaking power is not subject to presidential supervision or control. Perceived or actual congressional inaction does not endow legislative power with the executive. Judge Schwab went on to hold that the president's actions on immigration crossed the line amounted to legislation and changed U.S. immigration policy. The decision comes in the case of a man who entered the country illegally years ago and was deported in 2005. He re-entered the country illegally but wasn't caught until he was arrested on DUI charges earlier this year in Pennsylvania. Prior to sentencing the man, the judge asked the parties to provide their legal opinions on how the president's recent immigration announcements could possibly impact the judge's sentencing decision, and that led to today's ruling. A Justice Department spokesman says, quote, the decision is unfounded and the court had no basis to issue such an order. No party in the case challenged the constitutionality of the immigration-related executive actions. And the department's filing made it clear that the executive actions did not apply to the criminal matter before the court. Schwab added that although presidents do enjoy prosecutorial discretion on a case-by-case -case basis, President Obama's sweeping pronouncement involving entire classes of persons in the U.S. illegally went, in Schwab's opinion, far beyond what is legally permissible. Brett. We'll follow it. Shannon, thank you.